Yo, what is going on guys? Shri Kanase here and welcome back to another Shopify video. So as a lot of you guys probably already know, MailChimp no longer works with Shopify. Ugh, what has the world come to? And for those of you who were slightly on a budget and using MailChimp over the other email marketing applications are the ones that are facing the biggest problems right now because you're in a rush, especially if you're already getting sales or if you already ha are running ads and you have to basically restart from the beginning to create those email flows once again and integrate all of your old emails with this new email marketing platform. But trust me, it's not as bad as it seems because there are really good alternatives available for MailChimp. And that is exactly what we're going to be going over in this video. But before I jump into the ins and outs, if this is the first time you're watching one of my Shopify videos, pause this video for about two seconds and follow me on Instagram. Go ahead and join my free Facebook group. All the links are in the description. And most important of all, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But without wasting any more time, let's jump right into this. All right guys, so the first application on my list and we'll be going over the top five email marketing apps, but the first one that I'm going to be showing you is one that I personally began to use several months back after making a change from Clavio. And yes, I used to normally recommend Clavio for everybody, but in the recent months, Clavio has become unnecessarily too expensive. And the main thing I use Clavio for right now are just those email flows such as abandoning cart, browse abandonment, etc. But the main marketing app that I'm currently using to send all of my campaigns every single month is MailerLite Email Marketing. Now, after looking at this app, you may be thinking, wow, it only has 3.3 reviews. In my own personal experience, I have had literally no problems with MailerLite. This has been working really well with my budget and has lowered the expenses for email marketing in the first place because my email list for my main niche store is around 35,000. And the expense with Clavio usually went up to about $500 per month just as a monthly fee. And with MailerLite, I'm only paying $125 per month. It does the same exact tasks as Clavio, but at a much lower budget. So in my opinion, MailerLite is the go-to for email marketing at this point of time. And I've had a good experience with MailerLite. Their support team is very helpful and you get to use a lot of options when creating your specific emails. There are a lot of different themes available as well. So if you're slightly on a budget and currently looking for a new email marketing application, MailerLite should be your number one choice, but that does not mean our next four choices are any worse. But moving on to our second choice for email marketing, and that is Jilt e-commerce email marketing. Now this is number two on my list simply because I've had much more experience using MailerLite than with this application. And I also found it a little bit easier to play around with MailerLite, but that does not mean Jilt e-commerce email marketing is any worse. In fact, this is the go-to and has a lot of positive reviews from a lot of Shopify store owners, but let's go ahead and look through some of the basics this app offers. Now this is the email page creator that you can play around with once you download this app. This is where you basically get to design your emails. But as you can see, a lot of options available that would have been normally been available with the MailChimp. And in fact, I think this is much better than MailChimp. But this is a visual drag and drop editor, meaning you can simply drag these elements onto the palette right here and design your own emails according to your own liking. But I personally think that this application also offers a lot of different choices just as MailChimp used to do. And you also have the option of creating those cart recovery emails or simply all of the other flows that you wish to create. So in fact, Jilt email marketing app can become your go-to email app fully and you can create not only your email flows that you send, but also your campaigns. What I'm personally doing right now is using MailerLite to send out my campaigns and using Clavio to send out my flows. But if you're looking for an all-in-one platform, Jilt would be the number two choice on my list and it offers a lot of different variations. There's a lot of tracking that's available directly on this application, meaning you can literally track all of the sales that come from your email marketing activities. 
And the best part about Jilt is that they have a free plan available. So again, if you're looking for a free application to test the waters with until you get the hang of it, I think Jilt would be your second best choice. But our third choice on my list is Privy. Now in a lot of my previous videos and even in the Shopify checklist, I've mentioned that you should definitely have Privy at least for the exit pop-ups. But nowadays, I personally believe that Privy is great for not only pop-ups, but also for email marketing. As you can see, you have the ability to do pop-ups with exit intent, email marketing, abandoned cards, and have those wheels that pop up if someone is about to exit. And Privy is a great way to reduce your abandoned cart rates and have more people checking out. I personally use Privy for the exit intent pop-ups, but the email marketing options Privy provides is also a great option for you if you're looking for easy integration with the pop-ups as well as your email marketing. Because either way, whatever application you do download, you're going to need to want one application which is specifically for pop-ups. And I think Privy provides both these awesome pop-ups as well as email marketing directly. So this is my number three choice. You can use Privy for the exit intent pop-ups and use the other two I mentioned earlier just for email marketing or you can use Privy just in total for your all-in-one email marketing app. But one main thing that I really like about Privy is that you get to play around with all of the designs and Privy offers a lot of designs even for the free plan. I've been personally using the free plan for quite a while and I've had literally no problems with Privy and my exit intent pop-up sign-up rate is around a 25 to 30%, which is a really good rate to have. So definitely give Privy a go if you want to have an application which you can capture emails with along with the email marketing. But moving on to our fourth application and this is Omnisend Email Marketing and SMS. Now this is a really good application, especially for people on a budget because their monthly beginner plan is around $17 per month and you get to store up to 15,000 emails. What I really like about this app is that it also offers SMS marketing along with email marketing. So if you have been looking to get into SMS marketing as well, this is your perfect go-to application. And if we look through some of the details, we can see that this is a single click integration with Shopify. So it is super easy to set up even for beginners. And you get a variety of different templates that you can play around with and design your emails. One thing they currently have going on is that they're helping you basically migrate from MailChimp to Omnisend because MailChimp will no longer work. So not only is Omnisend a great application for sending emails and SMS marketing, but the customer service is also really amazing and they'll basically help you integrate from MailChimp over to Omnisend. But let's go ahead and check out the specific images that explain more about Omnisend. So one good thing they have going on is that they're offering you 50% off for the first three months and this is the discount code that you can use if you plan to get this application. But it is number four on my list because I believe the other three applications provide a little bit more ease when it comes to designing your emails and getting everything set up. But one really great thing that Omnisend offers is that they have pre-built workflows which you can directly use without changing a lot of the things for your own email. So as you can see, these browse abandonment, cart abandonment flows are all already pretty much pre-set up for you. All you need to do is make slight changes to fit your niche or your store and get those flows going. You can also send a lot of targeted campaigns specifically for people who may have purchased one specific product over another or in one category over another. So Omnisend is really powerful in those categories. And as you can see, Omnisend does offer SMS marketing, which is, in my opinion, something that you should be using. But number four on my list is Omnisend. And the fifth and final application, which I suggest for you guys is abandonment protector now this is something that i used to use in my earlier stages of shopify when i was a little bit new and i didn't know what was going on but it is number five on my list because i feel as if this is a great thing for beginners mostly the email themes and all of the other accessories that this application offers are a little bit basic but they're perfect for beginners who just want to get things going and focus more on bringing in sales from facebook or google ads but if we look through, we can see that this application offers not only email marketing flows, but exit intent pop-ups, which are super important to gather all of those emails. And if we continue, we can see that these are the specific options abandonment protector offers. So there is a lot of cool things that you can change according to your own needs when it comes to abandonment protector. And you can also set up these 
cool exit intent pop-ups. So this is one of the applications which is somewhat all in one. You can do both email marketing and exit intent pop-ups. But again, a really good entryway for beginners. The monthly payment is around $8. So if you're really on a tight budget, this would be the perfect app for you to start off with. And as you can see right here, there are several options for you to play around with, such as abandonment order flows, completed order flows. So these are all things that you can play around with and edit to your own liking. But these were the top five applications for email marketing. Again, these are the ones that I just recommend and have had personal experience with. Since MailChimp is no longer an option, these are some of the ones that you should be going to if you're planning on doing a lot of email marketing to increase your sales. But before ending this video, I just want to quickly say that if you're looking to take your Facebook ads game to the next level, I've created a Facebook ads course. The link is in the description, but a lot of people have been absolutely loving it. There's a lot of cool information that is in the course and more new information coming in on a monthly basis specifically related to WhatsApp placement. But be sure to check that out if you do plan to take your Facebook ads game to the next level. But I'll see you guys next time.